Hello YouTube, watching Denise Does, and today I'm going to do another video in my breakage series and I'm going to show you how I detangle my hair with minimum effort and with minimum breakage. So I've deep conditioned my hair and I do have a carrier bag over it which I'm using instead of a shower cap and I just put a headscarf over that while I'm deep conditioning. And this is my hair, it's loaded in deep conditioner. So this is what I do, I just um, use my fingers and start at the bottom and gradually work my way up detangling my hair. And I do a side of my hair at, the t at a time. And I actually use an outside in detangling method as well. So this is particularly helpful when I get to the roots and I will put my fingers in there, I'll find a big amount of tangles like this and I literally cannot move. So I'll actually start with a thinner bit of hair on the outside. So I'll just go in and um, basically try and detangle from the outside a bit more and then work my way in to the depth of my hair. And in doing this, I can detangle my hair a lot quicker and I end up losing a lot less hair than if I was just to try and um, just go in there. I developed this method because I'd always be horrified by how much hair I would lose when I was detangling it and when I was conditioning it. So I always use the bottom to top method, but I felt like it wasn't doing enough. And then when I developed this outside in method, I noticed a dramatic improvement in the amount of hair that I lost and I really didn't lose that much hair with breakage at all. I'm just fast forwarding here through all of my detangling. I've worked my way throughout the left side of my head and I'll just show you how much hair I've lost in total. So here it is, it's really not that much and it's taken about 15 minutes to detangle that side. That's not that much hair, it's about four days worth of hair that I've lost and from half my head, so just basically times that by two and that's how much I lose for my whole head of hair and there is four days shed hair as well, so I really don't think that's bad. I did used to lose a lot more hair than that before I used this outside in method. So then I go on and I use my seamless comb. So this is a Magic Star comb and it's by um, Hercules Sageman. It's a really, really good comb, really wide teeth and it's seamless. So with a lot of normal combs, um, and you, when you're combing your hair, the seams in the combs can actually weaken your hair over time. So that's why I've um, invested in a seamless comb. It's really, really sturdy. I have broken a lot of combs in my hair, but this comb has stood up really well. So I do this just to make sure that I don't have any kind of tangles in there that I've missed. So again, I will start, normally I do lose a bit more hair and I do this and I do notice a few more tangles, but I start from the ends and I just gradually work my way up but normally my ends are quite tangle free and I would just as you can see I'm finger combing as well first so I'm doing it gently I'm using the outside in method and if I do still feel like I've got any tangles in there I might just finger comb that spot again and I just try to make sure that I've got all of my tangles out there because I mean the last thing you want to do is go for like weeks and weeks without giving your hair a proper detangling session and then when you go ahead and do that you have masses of tangles in your hair. I'm just going to finish off here. I hope you found this helpful and definitely give this method a try if you suffer with tangles and you find detangling a nightmare. Thanks very much for watching. Bye!